restore my departed glory. Eh, Bwana, lejesha utukufu wangu uliondoka. Lejesha utukufu wangu uliotoweka. Oh Lord, restore my departed glory. Urejesho ni nini? Urejesho ni kuleta kitu ambacho kilikuwepo lakini kikaondoka ama kikaondolewa. Urejesho ni kuleta kitu kilikuwepo kikaondoka. E Bwana, rejesha utukufu wako. Rejesha utukufu wako. Uriondolewa, uriondoka. Kuna wajelewa maana ya utukufu ni nini? Naacha nikupatia maana ya utukufu. Utukufu maana ya nje ni mnao shining. Utukufu maana ya nje ile maana ya juu kabisa. Kama vile kuna chungu juu na kuna chungu ndani. Ukielezea chungwa unaweza sema ni tunda ambalo huwa ni la rangi ya orange. Lakini kuna maana ya ndani. Utaelezea ladha yake, utaelezea vile limegawanyika, utaelezea vile linatembe ndani. Hiyo inaitwa maana ya ndani. Sasa utukufu maana ya nje ni mnao. Utukufu maana ya ndani ni utale. Ni afya, ni amani, ni ukuu. Ni urithi. Sasa utukufu kuna mara mbili. Kuna utukufu unaotoka kwa mwanadamu ukielekea kwa Mungu. Na ndio maana wakati mmoja tunaimba wimbo unasema when the praises goes up his glory comes down. Kuna utukufu ambao utoka kwa wanadamu. Ukielekea kwa Mungu. Na kuna utukufu unaotoka kwa Mungu ukija kwa wanadamu. Kwa wanadamu ukienda kwa Mungu ni huko. Ni ule utukufu tunaungarisha jina la Yesu mbele ya mataifa. Tunaliadhimisha, tunalitukuza, tunaliheshimu, tunali fanya kwamba ndilo hakuna lingine la kutajwa hakuna lingine la kupokea sifa huo ndio utukufu unaotoka kwa mwanadamu kienda kwa Mungu yani tunasema ni wewe peke unapokea sifa hiyo ndio utukufu unaotoka kwa mwanadamu kienda kwa Mungu na Mungu anapoonekana anaonekana akiwa amejaa sifa amejaa mngao ambao unatoka kwa wanadamu ukielekea juu na Mungu anapoachilia mngao wake ukija kwa wanadamu huo mngao una ishara zake ndio ujue kuna utukufu wa Mungu ambao upo juu yake upo juu ya familia yake upo juu ya kazi yake upo juu ya afya yake upo juu ya watu wenu upo juu ya taifa lenu utukufu wa Mungu hujulikana na matokeo maana ni mngao ulio na utajiri Ndio Bwana Biblia inasema ya kwamba Bwana anaweza kutupatia yote atazidisha kutoinua kwa kadri ya utajiri wa utukufu wake. Utukufu wa Mungu huwa umebeba utajiri ndani yake. Na ndio maana Waefeso moja kuanzia 18 anasema macho yenu ya ndani yatiwe nuru mpate kuelewa uweza wa Mungu utendao kazi ndani yetu uweza wa Mungu ukija ni utukufu wa Mungu mawasi na Mungu anapoachilia utukufu taifa huwa na furaha jamii huwa na amani jamii huwa na afya jamii huwa na utajiri jamii huwa na kibali wakati utukufu wa Mungu upo jamii huwa na nyimbo za sherehe wakati utukufu upo haleluya utukufu unapoondoka mambo gani yanajulikana utukufu kuna ngalo kuna magonjwa kuna ukame 
Tuna umaskini. Tuna laana. Tuna mambo yote mabaya wakati utukufu wa Mungu umeondoka. Na ndio maana lazima uchi. Kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu, saa ile ndoa yako ina amani. Usichukulie ni jambo la kawaida. Ni utukufu wa Mungu. Na ni lazima uendelee kumshukuru Bwana. Na ni lazima uendelee kumpa sifa. Na ni lazima uendelee kuinua madhabahu. Na ni lazima uendelee kuliabudu jina la Bwana. Ili utukufu huo uendelee kukaa kwenye ndoa yako. Wakati unaona ndoa zimeanza vita, zimeanza migogoro, watu wanaanza kuachana. Tambua ni utukufu unapungua, unaondoka, unastahili kuenda mbele za Bwana. Mwambie Bwana nirejeshe utukufu wako katika ndoa yangu. Rejesha utukufu. Utukufu nimekwambia cha sana ni mngao. Ndoa ikiwa na amani inang'aa. Watoto wakiwa na afya wanang'aa. Wakiwa na magonjwa wamesinyaa. Wame hawana mngao. So utukufu Leo ninapoongea about this message. Oh Lord, restore my departed glory. Vitu vyote vilivyoondoka kwenye maisha yako leo vinarudishwa kwa jina la Yesu. Kama ni amani ya ndoa ilikuwapo siku hizi kuipata ni siku mbili inaondoka. Leo nikimalizia kuupili amani ya ndoa yako inarejeshwa na utukufu wa Mungu. Utukufu wa Mungu unaonekana katika utale. Wakati taifa limejaa utukufu, watu wakifanya biashara, wakifanya kilimo, kina nawili, kinafanikiwa. And that's why today I want to declare the glory that is departed from your life has to come back again in Jesus name. Somebody say that is my portion. Somebody say the glory of God is my portion. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen to me very well as I bring the word of God to you. Oh Lord, restore my departed glory. Fast for verses 10 and 11. Chapter number 1 verses 10 and 11 Samuel wa kwanza Samuel wa kwanza Mlango wake ni wa kwanza Ustari wa 10 Haleluya Haleluya The glory is coming back. Your glory is coming back. First Samuel 1. Verse 10. Le kosha la bagande le gazet. First Samuel, that is chapter number sorry. First Samuel chapter number 4. Sorry it is first Samuel chapter number 4 and verse The Bible says this So the Philistine fought the Israel So the Philistine fought and Israel was smitten and they fled before they fled every man into his tent and there was very great slaughter for they fell on Israel of Israel 30,000 foot soldiers and the ark of God was taken and the two sons of Eli Hophni and Phinehas were slain verses 12 of Makala basotolobos then a man from Benjamin ran from the army and he came to Shilo and came Shilo the same day with his clothes torn 
and with dirty on his head. And when he came, behold, Eli was sitting on his seat, watching, watching. For his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried, cried out. Verses 14. And when Eli had the noise of the cry, he said, The noise of this tumult me. And the man came quickly and told Eli, Now, Eli was 99, 98 years old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see. And the man said to Eli, I am he who came. And I fled today out of the army. And he said, how did things go, my son? And the messenger answered and said, Israel has fled before the Philistine. And there has been also a great slaughter among the people. And two, and two of your sons, also Hophni and Phinehas, are dead. And the ark of the Lord has been taken. Now it came to pass. When he made mention of the ark of the Lord, he fell off the seat backward, backside of the gate, and his neck broke, and he died. For he was an old man and heavy. And he had judged Israel for 40 years. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says, Now it came to pass, when he made mention of the ark of God, verse 19, and his daughter-in-law, Phineas' wife, was the child, was with the child, ready to, de to be delivered. And when she heard the news that the ark of God was taken, and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and gave birth, for her pains came upon her. Now, at the time of her death, the women who stood by her said, do not fear, for you have given birth to a son. But she did not answer, nor did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. Then she said, The glory has departed from Israel. For the ark of God is taken. The glory is departed. Now the title of my message is, Oh Lord, restore my departed glory. Ebwana, regesha utukufu wangu, oliondoka. Tumesoma kisa, wakati wa mtumishu wa mungu eli, akitawala, baibu inasema, Eli alikuwa ni kuani katika nyumba la Bwana aliishi katika hekalu la Bwana akimtolea dhabihu Mungu Eli alikuwa na wana wawili Hofni na Phinehas Hawa vijana wawili walikuwa vijana watundu walikuwa vijana ambao hawakumheshimu Mungu walikuwa vijana ambao walidiaki jina la Bwana wakati Mungu alitolewa dhabihu nyama za dhabihu Ziki okwa, ziki chemshwa, ziki wekwa kwenye madhabao. Kabla hati ya ziki ya marisia, kutuwa mafuta yote. Ili manukato ya dhabiu, imuende mungu. Wali ingia madhabao ni wakaila nyama. Walifanya mambo machafu, walifanya usherati. Na mambo haya yote, yali mgadabisha mungu. Yali pa mgadabisha mungu. Mungu wali muinua nabii, anai kwa Samuel, akiwa kijana mdogo. Na Samuari ya kamsikia mungu Wata kumbuka kwenye kitabu Cha Samuari wa kwanza mnangu wa kwanza Samuari ya lipo itua na mungu Akaenda kwa eni Kumuliza eni umanita Eni ya kamuambia sinja kuita Na mungu alimuambia Samuari kitu Akamuambia nitatenda jambo Katika Israel Na kila sikio litakalo sikia Litawasha Sasa wakati ulifikia Na hili jambo likaza kutendeka Baibo inasema wakati moja Wano wa Israeli wakanda vitani Kopigana na wafilisi Na wakiwa vitani 
Biblia inasema wafilisi wakawafukuzwa wakawafukuzwa wa Israeli wakatoroka na kumbuka taifa la Mungu ni Israeli Nikwambie jambo moja kabla sijaendelea wakati wa wote wewe ni mwana wa Mungu wewe Kristo umeokoka tiepushe sana na dhambi Huwafanya Mungu aweke kisasi. Anaweza asikuadhibu leo. Na ndio maana wengine utenda dhambi na mambo yao hayaharibiki. Wasijue kwamba Mungu ni warema. Wakati wakitenda haya yote, Mungu hakuadhibu. Lakini alimwambia Samuel katika Israeli, lakini asikioni tasikia litawasha. Kwa hiyo ikafikia wakati wana wa Eli ya watu badilisha tabia. Na Mungu alimnenea Eli akamwambia maana umechagua kutowaonya wanao, kutabadilisha mienendo yao. Nilikuwa nimeapa kwamba katika nyumba yako hapata wai kosa mtu kwenye nyumba yangu, kwenye utawala, lakini nimegaini. Hapata kuwa tena mtu kutoka kwa usawa wako atakasi mama kwenye madhabahu ya Mungu na ikafikia wakati walipoenda vitani Mungu hajawahi shindwa vita lakini anapotaka kuwafundisha wanawe soma anawaachilia kuadhibiwa wana wa Israeli walitembea na kitu kimoja ambacho kiliwakilisha uwepo wa Mungu sanduku la agano kwenye sanduku la agano palikuwa hapa na kaa kiti cha enzi kilichotengenezwa na kikawekwa dhahabu cha kuchongwa kwenye hicho kiti palikaa mifano miwili pande huu na huu ya makerubi na maje, makerubi wawili makerubi kumbuka ni malaika ambao wanakaa na Mungu mbinguni mbele ya kiti cha Yesu na walitengenezwa vizuri wakati wa mwisho na walidua mabawa yao kukifunika kwenye sanduku la agano. Kwa hivyo wakati wote sanduku la agano wakiwa nalo, walijua uwepo wa Mungu uko nao kwa sababu kiti cha enzi kipo. Makerubi wako pale, wanawakilisha sifa, wanaakilisha heshima ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo sanduku la agano lilikuwa linawatetea kama mwana wa Mungu. Lazima uhakikishe heshima ya Mungu kwako kupitia neno la Mungu haiondoki. Watoto wako wanawafundisha neno. Mume wako na mke wako wanashiriki neno. Wanaiombea jamii yako, utakatifu wa Mungu ukae kwenye hema yako. Wakati utakatifu unaondoka, unaatarisha sanduku la ajabu. Bible inasema, wakaenda vitani walipoenda vitani wakapigwa vita wa Israeli wakauawa wanaume 1030 bible inasema 30000 foot soldier maana ya foot soldier ni kusema wanajeshi ambao wanatembea kwa miguu kuna wale wako na chariots kuna wale ambao wanapitaga angani lakini wakati huo walitumia soldiers wa chariot na foot soldiers Israeli akapigwa akadhalilishwa mbele ya wafilisi Alipoaibishwa wakatoroka kila mtu akaenda kwake Zaidi ya yote sanduku la agano likaibiwa likatekwa mateka likatekwa nyara sanduku la gano linawakilisha uwepo wa Mungu. Waisraeli wakiwa bila sanduku walijua hatuna Mungu. Mungu ameondoka. Mungu hawezi kubali sanduku la gano lichukuliwe kama yeye ajaamua kuondoka. Kwa hivyo walipopigana na Wafilisti, Wafilisti wakawazidi nguvu na wakalitoa sanduku la gano la Bwana wakaenda nao walipoenda nao mjumbe mmoja akaja kuleta habari akaingia kwenye kijiji wa mama wamekaa nje vijana na watoto 
Bwana ngoja taarifa za habari tunaendaje vitani Yule mjumbe alipofika akaanza kuambia Israeli amedhalilishwa Israeli amepigwa Israeli wameuawa wanaume 30000 lakini wapi kuna kitu walikuwa wanatembea kusikia walingojea kusikia je yeah, habari ya sanduku la gano ikoje maana sanduku la gano likiwapo linawakilisha utukufu wa Mungu wakati taifa lina amani wakati lipo taifa lina utajiri wakati lipo taifa lina afya wakati lipo taifa lina nawili it represent the glory of god So when the glory of God is with you prosperity becomes your portion good health become your portion increase become your portion success in marriage become your portion peace in the family become your portion when the glory is there Bible inasema yule mtu alipofika Eli alikuwa miaka 98 ameka njia ya amekalia kiti chake Bible inasema alikuwa hawezi kuona lakini akasikia kwenye kichichi komenya akilio na kelele akauliza jamani mnajitegemea kunaendaje ho oh, yule mchumbe akaja kwa eli akamwambia mimi ni yule mchumbe nimetoka huko vitani akamuuliza kunaendaje vitani akasema vitani siku nzuri Israeli amedhalilishwa Israeli amepigwa wameuawa wanaume 1030 na Israeli ametoroka Eli akashtuka kaanza kutetemeka akatetemeka mzee wa miaka 98 na alikuwa msitu ana ana amenenepa mdo kulingana baiko alipokuwa anatetemeka akauliza na sanduku la gano akamwambia na sanduku la gano limeibiwa limekamatwa mateka na wafilisi aliposikia maneno hayo eli bible inasema akiwa amekalia kiti chake akaanguka kwa nyuma akavunjika shingo maana alikuwa mzito akafa watu wameuawa bado alikuwa anastahimili hofu na anatetemeka lakini aliposikia sanduku la gano limechukuliwa angewaza kusaimini maana hiyo ni kumwambia Mungu ameondoka amewaacha akaanguka akafa Bible inasema wakiwa pale pale kabla hajaondoka aliambiwa wameuawa wanaume 30000 watoto wako wawili vijana wako wa pekee hofu ni na fidas wamekufa zaidi ya yote sanduku la gano limechukuliwa akaanguka akafa alipokufa bible inasema mke wa finas alikuwa mja mzito siku zimekaribia za kujifungua alipoambiwa yaliyotokea akaambiwa sanduku la gano limeenda biblia inasema uchungu kamshika akajifungua papo alipojifungua wale wa mama walikuwa wanamtia moyo wakamwambia jipe moyo maana umejifungua mtoto wa kiume lakini biblia inasema hakulionea maana hakulitilia maana kwa nini alimuita huyu mtoto ikabod maana ya ikabod ni kusema utakofu umeondoka israeli ameondokewa na utukufu wa Mungu Israeli ameondokewa na uwepo wa Mungu. Let me tell you what is everything we need. Uwepo wa Mungu ni kila kitu tunahitaji. Utukufu wa Mungu ndio kila kitu tunaja nacho. Whenever the glory is there, you will not suffer sickness. Magonjwa hayawezi ka. Mali sanduku la gano lipo. Ndoa zivunjiki. Mali utukufu wa Mungu upo. Na ndio maana leo nataka uangalie kile ambacho natueleza. Leka la gada. Sanduku likiondoka, magonjwa huanza kukaa kwenye familia. Sanduku likiondoka, umaskini unaanza kuingia. Biashara zinaanza kusambaratika. 
Sinaanza kufilisika. Watu wanaanza kufutwa kazi. Vijana wa nyumba moja, familia moja, wanaanza kuchukiana. Wanaanza kuinu. Watu wanapigania mashamba. Maana utukufu wa Mungu haupo. Lakini leo wana menituma. Nikaombia ujumbe huu. Oh Lord, let's go. My departed glory. Wakati utukufu uliondoka, akaitwa Ikabod. Wana aliyezaliwa wengi wenu leo jamii zenu ni Ikabod. Maana ya Ikabod ni bila utukufu. Ndoa zenu Ikabod. Maana ya Ikabod ni bila utukufu. Kazi zenu ni Ikabod. Maana ya Ikabod ni bila utukufu. Ndoa watoto maendeleo afya ni kabod nokimaliza ugonjwa wa huyu wanaingia wa huyu nokimaliza shida ya huyu wanaingia ya huyu ndoa ya huyu mmeponya leo ya imevunjika kuna wazee hawajui amani kwao maana watoto wao wameoa lakini vita haziishi kwa ndoa za watoto wao leo mama msichana wako amerejeshwa nyumbani wamepigana na mume leo baba kijana wako amefukuza mme mke wake leo mama watoto wako wamefungua kazi hiyo inakueleza ikabod spirit roho ya ikabod imekalia ndoa yako roho ya ikabod imekalia watoto wako uzao wako ndoa yako Taifa sikia niwaambie wakati taifa linapigana vita wakati taifa linainukiana lenyewe wakati taifa linatembelea umaskini wakati taifa linatembelea madeni wakati taifa linatembelea magonjwa watu wanakufa ovyo ovyo hiyo ni roho ya ikabod the spirit that takes away glory when the glory of god is present Watu wanaishiki kwa amani. When the glory of God is present. When the glory of God is present. Ndoa zinakaga na upendo. Watu wanawauliza siri yenu ni nini kwenye ndoa? When the praise goes up, his glory comes down. When the glory comes down, his power is present. success what to go for mungu let me tell you when the glory is not there majanga yanaanza kutembea ukame unatembelea maeneo na ndio maana kuna watu wako kwenye maeneo hata wafanye nini wanasingizia ukame sio ukame watu watafute mungu when the glory is there israel ni moja wapo ya taifa ambalo ni jangwa kuliko mataifa yote duniani lakini kwa ajili ya utukufu Israel ndio taifa lililo na utajiri mimea matunda yanayotembea dunia nzima mengi yanatoka Israel ni kataifa kadogo hata kuliko Kenya lakini kamefundikwa na utukufu wa Mungu when the glory of God is upon you it doesn't matter who you are your level of education how many people you know How many people know you? When the glory of God is upon your life, people ask themselves question, what is your secret? No, the secret is the glory of God. And that's why I'm here to prove that that's departed in your family, in your marriage, in your business, in your health. Be restored. In Jesus name. Roho ya Ikabod. Huyu mama mke wa Phineas aliona bila kumeenda. Waisraeli wameuawa vitani. Sanduku la agano limechukuliwa. Mume wake amekufa. Baba mkuu amekufa. Hiyo ni kusemaje? Nimeondokewa na kile kitu kizuri. Alipojifungua mtoto wake, akamwita Ikabod na yeye akafa. The spirit of Ikabod. When Ikabod spirit imekalia kijiji, imekalia familia, kuna lot of immorality. Immorality. Dhambi za zina, dhambi za uzinzi. Wengi ndio utakuta wameokoka, lakini uzinzi wanafanya, usheratu wanafanya. Bana utukufu wa Bwana haupo. 
Wande kufu wa bwana hauwezi ruhusu mambo mengine yaendelee The glory of God is all we need in our lives when the glory covers kumbuka utukufu ni mwao oh shining light shining light jamii ona amani kwa inanga jamii yoinuliwa inanga jamii ona fedha inanga jamii ona upendo inanga nyumba yenye usharati haingai maana leo msichana ameletwa ametiwa mimba na kijana wako hiyo ni carbon spirit leo ametiwa mimba na kijana wako leo kijana mama unaletewa ujumbe kijana wako amezini ametia msichana fulani oh carbon spirit inawakilisha magonjwa inawakilisha jangwa ukame lana ndio akuvunjika mangangano bidii sio na faida kuna watu wanafanya bidii kama mtwa lakini matokeo ni madogo you need the restoration of the glory of god hakuna kazi fanya sio bidii una bidii kama mtwa kulala ulali unamkaga mapema lakini pesa kwako haiji when the glory is not there Nothing good can be upon you and that's why today I am praying any one of you watching me wherever you are I don't care there is a word of restoration there is a word of restoration of the glory that has departed oh lord restore the glory of my viewers that has departed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Can I tell you Let us read the Bible Who shall abagan de legeza in the book of Lekosha Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter number 30 Sikiliza Jeremiah chapter number 30 Israeli alipata kushindani akaipitia mateso maana sanduku la Bwana liliondoka na ndilo lilikuwa linawakilisha utukufu wa Mungu Watu wengi leo maisha yao wakitaka kujua utukufu wa Mungu haupo. Angalia mapito, angalia majanga. Usiulize utukufu ni nini. Nimekwambia maana ya juu ya utukufu ni mngao. When your life is not shining, there is a desperation. There is something kind of glory you are missing. Wakati maisha yako ni shida hii, baada ya hii baada ya hii hiyo ni roho ya ikabod na ninatangaza leo roho ya ikabod haina nguvu maishani mwako kwako hakutazaliwa ikabod kwako hakutazaliwa ikabod nasema kwako hakutazaliwa ikabod maana ya ikabod ni utukufu kuondoka wote kafa kuondoka Jeremiah chapter number 5 Jeremiah chapter number 30 and verse 17 Jeremiah chapter number 30 and verse 17 to 19 Bible inasema hivi Jeremiah chapter number 30 verse 17 Bible inasema hivi For I will restore Somebody say restoration. For I will restore health to you and I will heal you. You are because they called you outcast. What if we tell you actually when the glory is not there you are called an outcast. Ali actually ali katariwa. Say it is Zion. For whom no one cares no one cares for you no one is concerned about you verses 18 thus says the law behold i will bring again the captivity of jacob said and have mercy on his dwelling place and the city will be built upon our own heaps and the palace will stand where it used to be where it used to be that is restoration Hallelujah hallelujah listen very well I 
continue. And out of them will proceed thanksgiving and the voices of those who rejoice and I will multiply them and they will not be few. I will glorify. Somebody glorify. The restoration of glory. The departed glory is coming back. The departed glory is coming back. For restoration is coming back. I will glorify them and they will not be small. Now, Manikusome, Bibiria Yakiswai in a semi. In a semi. Yeremiah Telafini Kumira Sab. In a semi. In a semi. Mana Lita Purudishia. Afia. Kamoka Nibe Kambia. Wakai to Kufi Mondoka. Afia Wakwanya Shiga. When the glory is there. Health is there. But when the glory departs, your health departs. Mana nita kurudishi afia. Na minita kuponya majera yako. Asema buwana. Kwa sababu wame kuita. Mwenye kutupua. Wakisema. Nisha yuni. Ambao hapana mtu. Autakaye. Buwana asema hivi. Tazama nita rudisha tena. Hema ya yako. Na kuyaurumia makao yake Wenyewe na lojumba Nitakariwa kama ilivyo kuwa desuri yake Pare mwazo Tena kwao itasikika shukurani Na sauti yao wachanga mkao Na amini kuzidisha Wala hawate kuwa wachache Tena nite watukusa Wala hawate kuwa wanyongi Watoto wao I will glorify them. When the glory comes back, wakati tukufu wa mungu meruti. Afia number one in a ruti. Watu wakiwa wakati wanti. Kitu ambacho mungu atakupa. Atu wakikishia na kuinua. Ni mungu za mwili. Ni afia mwili. Number one. Okiona unafia Mushukuru buwana kwa ajili ya ilo Alafu mwambie buwana Na itachi mambo mengine Ya nayo andamana na utukufu wa afia Kitu chakwaza mbacho alisema mungu Wakati alisema nitarudisha Watakofu wa Yerushalemu Alisema nitarejesha afia Nitawaponya magonjwa Wakati wepo wa mungu likuwepo Chikia nikwambie Wakati sandukula buwana Nilikuwepo katikati ya Israeli Hawaku wana magonjwa Wafilisi walipo Mbye jambo nililotokea Mana mungu wakai Kwa watu ambao wanabudu miungu mingine Lilipoenda kwa wafilisi Liliaza kuwapiga Liliwageuka Likaaza kuwaletea majipu Likaaza kuwaletea maafa Likaaza kuwaletea ukame Baka wawo enyewe Wakaaza kusema Mukono wa hui mungu wa Israeli Ni muzito juu yetu Tulujisheni ili sanduku Mana aliwezi kana watu wengine Linaeza kaa tu na watu wa mungu Na ndiyo mana Saino meata kuwanda kinyuma na jia za mungu Mungu wa kika dhabika Mana apendi kuriondoa Sandukulake kwako Anaata kukuwabili Na magoja Na umasikini Na majanga Na vinda visibioreweka Kwenye ndoa yako Kwenye nyumba yako You need to understand The presence of glory Is the absence of groaning The presence of glory Is the absence of groaning Groaning Uwepo wa utukufuki wepo Poverty Now let me tell you Number one Wakati utukufu merudi Afia inarudi Number two Wakati utukufu merudi Uponya ajuu na kunja Number three Bibiria nasema Na ayo majengo ya tajengwa Tena maali ya likuwa This is possession Ini kumiliki Wakati utukufu wa mungu merudi Watu wanaza kuexperience hotele, watu wanaza kubarikiwa, wanaza kuchenga, watu ambao mtu fikiria, wanaeza nunguwa maploti, wakajenga, wanaza kuchenga, kona watu ambao, walipo chingiza kwa ulevi, watajiri wao kaondoka, watajiri wao katoeka, hata sa. 
Ataka ploti ya waezi nunua. Hawaezi fanya chochote. Because the glory is departed. Wengine mlimjua mungu. Wakati mliaza kwenye njia za kando. Watokofu kaundoka. Watokofu ulipondoka. Biashara zikaza kuisha. Maisha ya kumangana ya kaza kuingia. Can I tell you one thing? When the glory of God will come back. Everything that you lost. It will come again. Number four. Wakati utukufu merudi, multiplication inaanza kuingia. Kona jamii zina utasa, zina mangangano. You need glory. Wengine hata ujui. Wewe ulizaliwa. Kwa nini upitie utasa? Wewe Kwa nini mwanaume huwezi zalisha mke? Kwa nini kuna roho iliondoka na utukufu? Na si wewe shida. Ni utukufu uliondoka. Na huo utukufu utarejeshwa wakati kazi ya Mungu imeingia. Kumbuka wakati Lazaro alikuwa mgonjwa, Yesu alisema hivi, "Huo ugonjwa si wa kumuua, lakini ni wa kusababisha utukufu wa Mungu uonekane kwa viwango vingine. Unaweza kuona pitia shida. What you need is the presence of the glory of God. When the glory is present, Prosperity is sure. When the glory is present, good health is sure. When the glory is present, chikia mwana wa mungo. Mari uripo, I am praying for you. Every departed glory from your family, I declare restoration. I declare restoration of the glory that departed. The ark of the covenant. Wakati sanduku lagano, liliondoka. Kazariwa. Wakati utekatifu naondoka Ika bodi ndia usariwa Wakati haki meondoka kwako Ika bodi ndia usariwa Mana ya ika bodi Ni bila utukufu When ika bodi is present The glory can never be seen When ika bodi is present Watu wengi maisha yao ni ika bodi Ndoa ni ika bodi Wewe hujui siku moja ya kucheka na mne wako. Hujui siku ya kucheka na mke wako. That is the spirit of Ichabod. Watoto wako hawajui kukaa na afya siku zote. Mwaka mmoja uwezi isha. Hamjatembea hospitali. No. That is the spirit of Ichabod. Today I cast it from the root in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of Ichabod. That's if I unlock kwako. Na wewe lazima unyoshe mapito yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. When Ika body disappears, God comes back. Yesu, Bwana anasema, nami nitarejesha. I will restore. Thus says the Lord, I will restore the health and I will heal your wounds. Ina sema and there shall be multiplication multiplication huja wakati ikabodi imeondoka wakati utukufu umekuja can i tell you watu wa waezi kuelezea utukufu maana nimekwambia utukufu ni mngao lakini utukufu maana ya ndani ni utele wa uwepo wa Mungu utele wa uwepo wa Mungu utele wa ulizi wa Mungu utele wa nguvu za Mungu utele wa kibali cha Mungu Otele wa afya kwenye ndoa. Otele wa amani kwenye jamii, kwenye taifa. Otele wa mafanikio kwenye inchi. Hiyo ndiyo the meaning of the glory of God is present. When we say the glory is here, that is to say the riches of the glory are there. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Number five, what happens when the glory comes? God glorifies you. The Bible says, and I shall glorify them, and they, are, they shall not be weak. Nita watukusa na hawata kuwa wanyonge tena. Can I tell you somebody? Let me prophesy over your life. As I am declaring this, as the voice of God, 
I declare and I decree, your voice has been down. Nobody knows about you. Nobody hears about you. Men of God, no one has heard about you. No one knows whether you exist. Can I prophesy? It is your time. The glory is uprising you up. The glory is raising you up. The Bible says, after the restoration, the Lord will glorify you. And you shall no longer be weak. Can I tell you, when you are glorified, that is to say, people hear about you. People know of your existence. That Tangaza, Bonipua Uchurikani, Botaza Kujurikana, Mana the departed glory, Inaza Turudi, Gati Kachina La Yesu, Botoko Furi Onoka, Pekine Nilana, Saupo, Selisababisha, Hata Sio Wewe, Wewe Mejipata, Kwenye Jami, Iliona Mateso, Kwa Jili Adhambi, Zawazazi Wako, That Tangaza Ivi, Wakati Moja, Kwenye Kitabu Chayoana, Bible inasema wakampata mtu mmoja aliyekuwa kipofu tangu akuzaliwa wakamuliza Yesu nani aliyetenda makosa ni mzee huyo ama ni wazazi wake Yesu akasema hapana haya yalitokea hivi ili utukufu wa Mungu wote uonekane utukufu wa Mungu uwakilishwe na ishara uwakilishwe na miujiza uwakilishwe na utere uwakilishwe na uponyaji uwakilishwe na watu kuinuliwa can i tell you don't look for glory. Don't look for glory. Look at your life. How your life life is not moving on where. Seek the glory of God. Seek the glory of God. That your man of Bibliana Sema. Mosisumboke. Gona nini mwe nini. Mana hayo mambo. Yana subwa pia mataifa. Wana wa mungo. What we need is the restoration of the glory of God. What we need is the man of the power of God. What do we need? Let the manifestation of the favor of God. When favor manifests, breakthrough manifests. When favor manifests, healing manifests. When favor manifests, anointing breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I prophesy your glory is coming back. Your glory is coming back. Your glory is coming back. You are help. You are receiving the help of your body. You are receiving the solution of your business. Your marriage is receiving healing. It's recovery. I didn't think about spirit. No, I declare and declare that they can never by any means subdue you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh my God. Child of God, you need the glory. You need the glory. Ela Mandela Bosha. You need the glory. The glory of God is everything. The glory of God is everything. Can I tell you? Wakati utukufu wa Mungu uko kwako. Uwa usumbuki kwa maana hakuna pesa. Maana unajua utukufu wa Mungu unaletaga pesa. Wakati uma, wakati uko na utukufu wa Mungu, hata magojo yakikunyemelea. Uwa usumbuki. Maana unajua magojo hayaizi kaa kwako. Maana mwili wako ni hekalu la Bwana. Na hekalu la Bwana linabeba utokovu. Tekia ni kwambie wakati wanakutenga Bible inasema kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah mlango wake wa 60 mstari wa 15 hata kama uliachwa ikafika kiwango cha kwamba hakuna mtu anauliziaga habari zako wakalaga let me read the verse i feel read the verse Isaiah chapter number 60 and verse 15 Neba. Isaiah 60 Listen to this. Listen to this powerful statement. Because some of you, your glory departed, and people don't, don't even recognize you again. From today, as you listen to this word of God, something is happening. Something is happening. Isaiah chapter number 60, verse 15. The Bible says, verse 15. The Bible says, Whereas you have been forsaken, and hated so that no man went through you i will make you an eternal excellence a joy of me many nations an eternal excellence nita kufanya fahari ya milele hata kama uridharauliwa hakuna mtu anaye kudhamini hakuna mtu aulizaya habari zako 
wamesha kudharao maana wamesha kuondoa maana utukufu wa uonekani kwako haya nasema hivi restoration is coming back hata kama uliachwa hata kama umechukiwa ikafikia kiwango hakuna mtu ajaye kwako hakuna mtu aulizia habari zako hamna mtu atembee kwako bwana anasema nitakufanya kuwa fahari ya milele i will make you oh and he done with the rich a joy of many nations oh jeremiah 30 verse 18 nimesema kote sikika nyimbo za shukrani kwenye hema zao nitakaporejesha utokofu wangu kwenye nyumba ya israeli kika nyimbo za shukrani kote sikika sauti za wao waimbao natangaza kuanzia leo wewe uliyekuwa unaomboleza kuanzia leo pokea neema ya kuimba neema za shukrani pokea neema ya kuimba neema za sema pokea neema ya kuimba neema za kumtukuza bwana for the glory of god is coming back for the glory the ikabod spirit is coming out for your life is coming back again the departed glory is coming back again somebody shout at the seven somebody shout at the seven shout at here you man of god you are receiving glory you are receiving favor you are receiving promotion you are receiving breakthrough for the glory of god is coming back Samueli akaambiwa na Mungu nitatenda jambo kila sikio likisikia nitawasha sikio nikwambie wakati mmoja fina hasa kafa oh akafa fidas akafa hofni akafa heli akafa mke wa fidas wakaza ikapot maana ya ikapot is without glory today i declare You are not without glory. You are not without glory. Glory is coming back. Wengine mlikuwa maisha yenu ni mazuri sana. Lakini ikaboda alizaliwa kwenu. Utukufu wenu ulichukuliwa. Utukufu wenu ulichukuliwa. Nimesema mambo ambayo hutokea wakati utukufu wa Mungu umeondoka. Majanga yanaanza kuingia. Ndoa zinaanza kuvunjika. Watoto wanaanza kuwa na magonjwa. Umaskini unaanza kuingia. Mangangano yanaanza kuingia. Ukame unaingia kwenye mataifa. Maana utukufu umeondoka. Lakini wakati utukufu umeanza kurudi, Biblia inasema uponyaji unaanza kuingia. Afya inaanza kuingia. Utajiri unaanza kuingia. Nyimbo za sherehe na deremo zinaanza kuingia. Kunaanza kuingia utukufu. Kunaanza kuingia kuongezeka. Kuna wili. Kuna wili kunaonekana. This is my prayer for you today. Glory of God come back to you. May the glory of God come back to you. May the glory of God come back to you. Whenever you are watching me. Yes wakasema huyu kipofu akutenda makosa. Lakini iliandaliwa hivyo. Wengine wenu si nitenda. Lakini adui aliachiliwa tu. Ili tukufu wa Mungu multiply. Si kwamba kila wakati umetenda dhambi ndio utukufu unaondoka. Saa nyingine inaachiliwa utukufu uondoke. Ili kwamba Mungu ajitukuze kupitia maisha yako. Lakini wakati mwingine dhambi inaondoa utukufu. Angalia habari. Oh, za Samsoni kwenye kitabu cha Waamuzi. Biblia inasema wakati utukufu wa Bwana uliondoka kwenye kitabu cha cha Judges. Judges chapter number 16 verse 18 judges mungu alimuondokea samson judges chapter number 16 namalizia kwa kusoma huo mlango judges waamuzi waamuzi 16 judges 16 judges 16 Bible inasema 18 Now Inasema hivi Now when Delilah saw that he had told her all the his chart she sent and called for the God for the lords of the Philistines saying come up once for he has showed me all his heart then the lords of the Philistines came upon her up to her and brought money to her so she made him asleep 
on her knees and she called for a man and she had him shaved from the seven locks of his head and she began to afflict him and his strength went from him. The strength went from Samson. The Bible said, verses 20, then she said, the Philistine are upon him, Samson, and he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out at other, like other times before and free myself. And he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. He did not know the Lord had departed from him. Can I tell you? The glory of every young man is his strength. When the glory departs, you become weak. Now the glory of Samson departed. When he gave out the secret, Samson ya likuwa ni mnaziri wabwana. Ali tiwa mafuta tokea tuponi mama make. Ali tengwa tokea tuponi mama make. Ali kuwa na vitu haku paswa kufaya. Haku paswa kunyolewa nyuelu. Haku paswa kunyolewa pombe. Haku paswa na wake wa nchevi. Haku paswa kutopwa yosi. Lakini delila haka msisitizia. Haka kuatiria delila. Haka mbembeleza. Kama vina wengi weo. Tuna mbembeleza wana thangu. Mwana umesi kubali. Mungu wame kupatia biyashara zuri. Mungu wame kupagari nsuri. Zaile unagari nsuri. Yo mapiku wa rembo. Wame anda kutokea. Wana teka uwape lifti. Zaile ukona pesa. Yo wana waka wazuri wazuri. Wame anda kuwanyesha. Yule mke wako. Ariye lipagalama na wewe. Ya kutafuta iso mali. Badala umtengeneze. Badala umfunika utukufu. Wewe unanda tuona. Wana waka waliyo jitengeneza. Nili wakune pesa yako. Wana waka wa nyoti ya nda kuku ingina kwenye nda samsoni alikuwa na utukufu wa kipeke watokofu wa ngufu ambayo kina mwana ume alishanga na ngufu ya samsoni walishinga uyu mwana ume waina gani hiyo ngufu ya samsoni ilikuwa ni utukufu wake mungu ame kuinua ame kupa mke msuri ame kupa nyumba suri ame kupa watoto wa suri na ume ame kutajiri kamse leza ime kuwa nyingi Kusidanga nyike, huyu alikuwa lingelila, alimbebeleza Samsoni, haka mbebeleza, haka mnaza kwenye mapacha, dhambi na juwa kumbebeleza, dhambi na juwa kumbebeleza, dhambi na juwa kupapasa, na dhambi kiingia, hotu kufu na onoka, kumboka samweli wakwaza, munango wa ine, ama potulianza kusoma, hotu kufu ni onoka, kwa jili ya dhambi, sawana wa eli, kofu ni nafine asi. Wali nikose ya maana Mali unanisikiriza mtoto wa mungu Wana wa mungu Osi kubali kudanganyika Manda utukufu wa mungu koku wako Ate kama mwaza wako ni mdogo Bendele ya katika wa utukufu mdogo Manda utukufu wa mwana Bibili ya inasema Uwa unaenda atuwa mwoja hati ingine Ota ingine ya ukiongezeka Kijana Kosi changa nyikiwe mama Mana wana ume wana kwambia unafika nsuri Mana wana ume wana kwambia unapendeza Hayo yote unapasa kuambiwa Na mume wako Hata kama kwambi Kumbili yako Kwa jidi ya utukufo Mamba ukonju yenu Katika jina la yesu Mana utukufo kiondoka Majanga ya taingia Kiondo wa itafunchika Watote wenu watete wanyika Magoto ya taza kuingia Hukame utaza kucha, haibu itaza kucha, kumili ya to, bada baibu inasema, bado kitambo kidogo, hei achaya takucha, wala atachelewa, I speak over your life, departed glory, be restored, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the departed glory, be restored, Samsoni, Haka danganyika na delaila. Haka lazwa kwenye mapaja. Haka papaswa papaswa. Haka nyueshwa pombe. Haka lazwa. Haka nyolewa nyuele. Ama ilikuwa ndiyo siri ya utukufu wake. Wale waku. Wawa filisi waka ito na delaila. Waka mwambia nchoni. Ame niambia siri yote. Baibwa inasema msari wa ishirini. Wakati waliko kuncha. Samsoni haka situliwa na delaila. Haka miwa Samsoni. Wa filisi wako chuli. Bibi ya inasema Akajiambia moyoni 
ni tamka kama kawaida ni jitingishe ni watawanya lakini biblia inasema hakujua ya kwamba utukufu hakujua ya kwamba mungu wacha i pray for you may the glory of god never depart from you after today after the restoration when you know when you took my lord you know them that you lakini leo na waombe anema ya kwa yale mlio yatenda utukufu kaondoka wala wasamee arejeshe utukufu kwenye maisha yenu katika jina la Yesu Wote kwa kwa biashara yako. Wote kwa kwa afya yako. Wote kwa kwa nyota yako. Nyota yako ingae. Sikia nikwambie, hakuna mtu asiye na nyota. Wengine mna nyota nyingi mno. Zinasaidia kungaa. Wakati Yesu alizaliwa, nyota ndio ilionekana. Wakati Yusufu aliota, aliota nyota. Kana iperio. The Lord is coming back. Bible inasema kwenye kitabu cha Wakorintho Kuna utukufu wa nyota, kuna utukufu wa mwezi na kuna utukufu wa jua. Wengi ndio wenu ni utukufu wa jua. Jua litaji kupewa mwangaza. Nina mwangaza wake mwenyewe. Wengi ndio wenu ni utukufu wa nyota. Hakuna nyota ambayo haingai mbinguni. Hata ile ndogo na zile kubwa. You are supposed to shine. And that's why I'm here to pray for you today. That you must shine again. Hata wale mlienda chini. The title of my message today is restoration of the departed glory. Oh Lord, restore my departed glory. Wanga mnipoteza utukufu. Don't they? I don't care what you did. God is able to forgive and to forget and the glory must come back. I declare and declare when the enemy thumbs the sin of the tender back and oh ni wa mama amjawaiambia wa mwezeni ni wazee amjawaiambia wa mwe wa kesen watakufu lianza kuondoka tu. Bara mi afoi. I am here for you. Le kosha la baga. Samson utukufu wake ulikuwa ni Otajibu ni Afya ni nguvu ni utukufu. Amani ni utukufu. Ushienda kutafuta utukufu mahali pengine. Utukufu uonekane kwa macho. Matokeo ya utukufu ndio uonekane. The glory of God is manifested when the favor of God is working for us. That's why Biblia inasema in the book of John chapter number 14 chapter number 7 Verse 7 inasema kaini ndani yenu nami ndani Lolote mtakaloomba Bwana atapata. Inasema mstari wa 8. Lolote mtakaloomba Bwana atawapa. Ili jina la baba litukuzwe. Kupitia sisi. Lolote mtakaloomba mtapewa. Ili jina la baba litukuzwe. Neno kutukuzwa linatokana na utukufu. So utukufu huja wakati maombi yamechipiwa. Utukufu huja wakati maombi yamechipiwa. Wakati unaomba mtoto kwa muda mrefu na huko na mtoto ukipewa utukufu umeanza kuonekana. Wakati umekuwa una kazi umepewa kazi, utukufu unaanza kuonekana. Wakati ndoa ilikuwa ina amani amani inaanza kuingia. Utukufu unaanza kuonekana. Wakati watoto wako walikuwa wa perform vizuri, wameanza kuperform utukufu unaonekana. Wakati magonjwa yalikuwa yamekungandamiza yameondoka. Utukufu hiyo ndio maana ya utukufu. And today the glory that was departed the ichabod spirit is going out i want to pray for you sheleba gaya ndala bos i want to pray with you whatever you are tafadhali kama umekuwa umeshare that video press the one share down one there there is a one share press it and it is automatically shared and we can share this word to many as we are coming to the end Tu 
That struggle is not your portion. Wherever you are, that lack is not your portion. Wherever that sickness and disease is not your portion. Wherever you are, marriage breakup is not your portion. Your marriage shall not be broken. Barrenness is not your portion. I say barrenness is not your portion. I say lack is not your portion. I say disease and failure is not your portion. Let's say glory now. Let's say glory now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. I believe you are blessed by the word of God. I believe you are favored by the word of God. I believe the power of God down wherever you've been watching. I believe the anointing of God has been your portion. And I tell you, you shall never regret tuning in. Because as I'm praying, I release that grace. I release that anointing. I release that faith. I release that faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of God is with us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear me and hear me well. 